Hi guys and welcome back to my vlog. Welcome back to adulthood 101, owning a car, working. Yeah guys, my car just got stuck. Like apparently it had a flat battery. I'm hoping that's all there is to it. So, and luckily it was at a safe place. I was just at a safe place because I had just arrived to a client's home so I, I have to walk back to where my car is and she actually said instead of my parents coming here to help me jumpstart my car she'll just ask her neighbor to do that you know because it's quite more convenient which was very sweet of her which was very sweet of her but it sucks okay and guys, you know what is irritating me? And I hope you people that sell insurance who watch my videos, y'all suck. You guys don't know how to explore. You guys don't know how to pass on information. Because all this time that I have been paying, I thought which I was covered and I was safe. Should anything like this happen? And then when I called the insurance and I'm like, I'm stuck. My car won't start. Then they say to me, Oh, well, you're not covered for roadside. It's a separate payment. What the fuck? But anyway, my kind and beautiful client helped me out. So, yeah. My God is above whatever that he's trying to do. circumstances but anyway here we are i'm back home a little update i am back home i got the help that i needed from my client's neighbor shout out to her for that excuse me and then tomorrow no not tomorrow tomorrow i'm working the whole day thursday i am going The AA offices, and I just want to find out who's got like the ones are alive, you know, what am I paying for? Because such things cannot be happening to me on the road, and I'm not covered and I'm not safe. What if I was somewhere far? Okay, and I actually need to start reading when I sign and pay for stuff, but anyway, guys, um, that is that, and it's done and dusted. And I'm back home. I was longing for my room, guys. I feel like sometimes God really listens because I literally haven't been in my room for 28 hours. And today is a public holiday, but I was just like, you know what, God, I have worked enough. I've done 17 hours for the day. Please. I'm tired. And we're part is I, I started my period so I was just like so over everything and God came through for me so instead of doing a four hour shift I was literally able to do just an hour just to stay with the client while I sorted out my stuff because we're not allowed to leave her alone which makes sense but yeah, Ungulu Unguluyang is okay. So yo, I didn't want to be at work. Like I was just so tired and just so overwhelmed. But I'm glad my car is sorted. So after that, I came straight home. And then I 
like this uh, a sister of mine says pearl to move into her home she was just left with a few things so and it's not far from here and tomorrow i have a busy day tomorrow i'm going to the offices and we have a training from 1 p.m until no, from yeah 1 p.m until 3 p.m and then after that i have a shift from 3 30 p.m until 7 p.m from half past seven to nine then from 9 15 to 12 15 so that's just my life guys that's just me and don't think we see this day in your rest <laughs> This thing, you know, so it's just like a very busy life, and I'm just not saying this just randomly. So, I'm just saying this so that you guys can just have an idea of what my life is like. So, I'm just doing like a regular night skincare routine. This is my hair, I haven't really done my face in a while, I'm gonna do it today. Guys, my hair gets dry really, really fast, hey? My hair gets dry really, really fast. But this coconut oil smells amazing. And it smells just like a pure coconut. So, I use coconut oil for my hair. And then I can just do that. Not on the actual braids themselves, that would just be a waste, according to my opinion, but for my scalp, I feed my scalp with coconut oil. I got this at Chemist Warehouse, and I want to try out, I want to try out um, the castor oil gonna order some castor oil as well very soon or buy some castor oil as well and just nurse my scalp and nurse my hair and feed my hair you know feed each and every aspect of my life now guys the next thing that i use for my hair is a serum expertise hair and scalp serum now this one is for volume and for growth and to be honest, I can say I've been using it for about four months and yes, I have been seeing the results, especially with the volume of my hair, like my hair is thicker, of which it, it was doing well already before I started using the serum, but it was doing well. So it ended up breaking eventually because of the heat and you know not combing it. But I feel like mankaka like these braids, which is not gonna be any time from now. I'm generally gonna see the results of what the serum does. But I think even on my hairline, I see the difference. I see the difference. But but it's a hair growth and volume serum. I bought this at Chemist Warehouse. Oh, guys, it's deceiving because you can't see what it looks like. But it also finishes really, really, really fast. But if I don't use it on my hair as regularly as I can, if I'm too tired, I just put it on my little on my hairline. So this is it. This is it. Expertise. And then last but not least is this serum again. This one I got it from Shein because I was just trying out new things. Okay, and this one is for the hair growth again it's a strengthening serum 
and to be honest guys this is those associations this is year seven today i wanted to try other things besides just the the clothes you know and i can say the things really work because i started with a i started with a turmeric oil for my tummy for my tummy it was a bit dark and my thighs after my daughter like well both my pregnancies deal with my pigmentation like i just became i just become black so guys that's it for the hair and then i'm just going to wear a duke so that all that heat and everything gets moisturized and then in the morning i'm going to put this hair food it's garnier macadamia is it macadamia yeah macadamia hair food i'm going to put this in the morning because i feel like now there's no need there's no need let it suck in the oil and the serums and i will put the hair food and the other hair sprays tomorrow morning but yeah that's it for the hair products that i use good morning guys and welcome back to this vlog i feel like the entire vlog i'm just gonna be looking crusty okay because child need be easy like need be easy but anyway guys today is friday and it is i'm not sure what the date is oh it's the 9th of february 2024 um i haven't been in my room for the past 20 hours or so i was at work i went from ppy and then straight to jagerville after that and i spent about 16 hours in jagerville so this is me on my way back home but i am going to pass by town first i need to go to the panel beaters like i said i need to get my car fixed and i'm running out of time so i'm hoping to get a quotation and actually make a booking to get my car fixed and i was hoping that i would have the day to myself you know just sort out my life um clean my room because i've moved to a new room same premises just bigger room but no child i got another shift and one thing about me i am prioritizing money okay and i just want to save enough so that at the time i go to south africa and fetch my daughter anyway guys like i mentioned before i have this new habit of just appreciating this country and just having a moment to myself you know and just praying and just thanking god because one thing is for sure i live in a beautiful country and i don't take that for granted like i'm just so amazed most of the time that god really favored me this much you know god really loves me like that that he gave me this opportunity to live in such an amazing country and i love it i love it for me so i told myself that you know what i have to explore it and if i don't have the time like i'm always at work i must just take solo road trips you know and just because literally anyway is a view in this country guys anyway is a view in this country but anyway i don't want to get too carried away because i need to go into town get a quotation as crusty as i look i don't care damn i need my car fixed and then after that go straight home try and do a bit of cleaning and then shower go to work come back clean and study but anyway guys let me just show you where i am isn't it gorgeous so green so many farms like mina my future husband is a farmer baby and we're gonna farm together <laughs>
guys and welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to this vlog guys i'm feeling like i'm always in my car hey like but anyway that's the reality of my life i spend a lot of time in my car than anybody else so guys i just came from work it is just after three it is just after 3 p.m and i'm thinking of going to town i'm a bit stressed about my car but i'll tell you guys about that a bit later yeah i want to go to town but what do i need in town just to walk around and see maybe or let me just go straight home and cook mm, i'm not sure what i'm gonna do first but i will get, let you guys know if I go home straight, I have a lot of cleaning to do, which is basically what I should be going to be doing right now. But I want, I want juice to pick and save a few groceries and pick and save. Have a sip, easy. Yeah, let me just go grab a few things. I pack and save. I just need juice and maybe, maybe, because I have a lot of food that needs to be cooked. Maybe ice cream. Let me just not waste money. I'll see and pick and save what I need. But one thing that I'm really sure of, one thing that I really, really need. What those? It's juice. So I'm going later, guys. Sorry that my energy is down. I'm just like really tired. I've had like a very long week. And it's not even anywhere near done. It's only Friday and I still have like a whole lot of hours to work. But that's okay. Guys, I am in the middle of nowhere again, again. I love this for me. I love spending time with myself the way that I've been doing recently. Oh, I think a bee is following me because of my scent. I need to go back to my car. <laughs> you will not believe what just happened to me okay so i'm at pick and save and i just decided you know what let me just buy proper groceries let me just buy food shop and when i was about to pay right i thought i was moving my money from my savings go account to my actual account did I not transfer it to my savings account that is locked that I don't have access to? And I'm just like, what the hell? And that money is locked, so I can't touch it. But I'm just like, the hell? It's like my savings account was like, girl, you tried to rob me this week and that is not happening. So that just happened. Now I'm out of budget with an entire $250 didn't plan it but you know what 
I guess it was meant to be saved. Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for spending this day with me, but I think I'm just going to conclude this video here. Um, as you can see, I went to pack and save, I went to do some groceries and i am back home now i'm not gonna do like an entire grocery haul with you guys because that's just a whole lot of things but i'm just gonna show you a few things that i got starting with the most important one yes because we are on a journey to leave drinks with percentages alone so we can start somewhere then i got some juice because i love Oh, it's my food. Some spring onion. This one, eh? Yeah. 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 Gonna make some mushroom sauce with steak, some mince. I'm gonna make a pasta bolognese. Just gonna check these on the oven. Funny enough, all these dishes, niggas, where my ingredients are. Simba, the good mungaj, smoking mungaj, eating it. Oh, I got and then some pancakes which i'm gonna have with some strawberry jam and some coffee bacon very salty and then i got some salad potatoes Like it's just a whole lot of groceries because literally I had nothing. 